Um, I don't even know where to start with you. Did you even know what you were looking at? Do you have any idea? Any idea what that was? Basically, kind of a big deal. Oh man, that's beautiful. Are you listening? Okay. Grass grows, birds fly, sun shines, and brother, I tag people. Bonk! With a foam of nature. If you were at where I was at, you'd be flipping tagged. Yeah, it might have taken a while, but we finally have our hands on a Nerf double-barreled, shell-fed, shell-ejecting, 3D-printed shotgun blaster. Adrian, you've outdone yourself with this one. And I think this time we should give one away. Oh man, this thing is amazing. But before we get into this one, quick word from past Walcom, because this video is sponsored. If you're watching this video right now, you probably use the internet and just like how you shouldn't nerf without eye protection, you shouldn't be browsing the internet without a VPN. This is gonna be one of the easiest ad reads I ever have to do because I was already using NordVPN for months before they reached out to sponsor this video. NordVPN protects you by basically being your gateway to the internet. It works on a wide variety of devices and it's incredibly simple to use. For example, if I'm gonna do anything on my phone, all I have to do is tap the NordVPN app and I'm good to go. I could even make my internet usage appear like I'm logging in in a different country. Not only does that make it incredibly difficult for advertisers or hackers to track my internet usage, it also unlocks Netflix, which lets my wife watch movies and TV shows from other countries that aren't around due to licensing reasons. They have super fast servers. They don't log any of your data. There's a 30 day money back guarantee. It has its own built-in ad blocker and even includes unlimited bandwidth. Visit nordvpn.com slash walcom, that's W-A-L-C-O-M, to get 68% off NordVPN for only $3.71 a month. You'll also get one month free or use coupon code WALCOM, that's W-A-L-C-O-M. Make sure to practice safe internet browsing and of course, have a ton of fun watching all the shows and movies you probably couldn't watch before because of licensing deals making them exclusive to certain regions. I love NordVPN and I couldn't recommend it enough. Thank you very much, NordVPN, and because they are sponsoring this video, I get to do something a little bit crazy. You help me, I help you. So make sure you leave a like for this video because it's a double-barreled Nerf shotgun. What more reason could you want? And make sure if you're not subscribed, because about 60% of you aren't, you hit that little red button below the video to subscribe so you get noticed for all of my videos. If you want to make sure you never miss anything, hit the bell as well. And then leave me a nice little comment down below because I will be giving away one foam a nature from Adrian. I'm basically going to buy a second one of these and send it off to somebody. It could be in whatever colors you'd like, but I will pay for the construction and shipping of one Foma Nature to you. And if this video gets over 30,000 views the next week, I'll see about giving away two. Delivery for those will be somewhere around mid-April to possibly early January. These things do have to be hand-built and everything like that, and I don't want to overload Adrian, but I will be basically buying the next one or two blasters of this that he makes. And if you want to get your own, I will have a link down in the description to Adrian's Etsy store where you should be paying attention to see when they go up for sale because he does plan on building a couple more of these for sale sometime in the near future. But that's a mouthful. What exactly is it? Well, as we've already discussed, it is a double-barreled shell ejecting Nerf shotgun and that uses the spring thunder shell system both with and without the O-rings on the back of them. So Gen 1 or Gen 2 shells. And it works pretty much exactly how you'd like. I should note that the stock is completely optional. I have it only on here to give it that complete foam of nature look. It's obviously based off the force of nature from Team Fortress 2. One of my favorite weapons in the scout's inventory, although I do think I like the looks of the Babyface's blaster a lot more. As you can see right here in the close-up, this trigger is a little claustrophobic, but that is the main firing trigger, and just in front of that is a little orange trigger that will release the barrels. And then, of course, you shove 
shells into it. It will take pretty much any Spring Thunder shell, although your mileage may vary. Here we've got a Rival shell and a standard Elite Dart shell. Pull back the plunger, and it does have a selector switch on the side. There's supposed to be two, but I only have one on there right now. That will let you switch between the right and left barrel. So starting with the right barrel, that was three shotgun rival, and then switching to the elite dart, which hits about 95 to 100 FPS on a good day, and usually more around 80, 85 on a normal day. It's a shotgun. It's not exactly meant to get extreme ranges. And for the money shot, I love that. You should love it too. People have been wanting something like this for quite some time, and it's weird how it's taken so long to get to this point, but really when you think about the fact that you need such a large air volume and there's such a lot of engineering that goes into making something like this, you can see why it took so long to get to this point. And even then, for many of you, the performance won't quite be there. But again, reiterating, it's a shotgun. The system is actually pretty ingenious because I can pop out this little selector lever right here and give you a better idea of what's going on. Obviously we have a Springer plunger down here, catches at the very bottom, has a nice padded head, very beautiful work, Adrian. And it's a decent amount of draw and it's a decent width of a plunger too. I don't know the exact volume, but it's, it's pretty big. The selector lever actually has holes drilled into it, one going that way and one going that way. And that matches up with the other brass in the receiver, which has holes leading into each one of the barrels. And you could probably guess by how this works. When you turn it, it closes off one of those barrels and then closes off the other one when you switch barrels, delivering all that airflow into one of the shells. That is a lot of custom work that goes into an already 3D printed blaster. And I gotta say, even just looking at this hinge mechanism up at the front, that is a lot of beautiful custom work done by Adrian. That looks like a finished product, but I can tell just by looking at these metal bars and what have you, that those are custom ground flat and everything like that. Beautiful work, man. And because it uses these Spring Thunder shells, that means you could pretty much fire anything that fits in a Spring Thunder shell. So we obviously already fired Rival and a single Elite Dart, or you can shove two short darts in there if you want to and get a little bit of a spread with less range. But it will also take a Boomco Flechette round, that's three Boomco darts, and the Mega Dart shell, which cool enough since it's not using any kind of feeding magazine or anything like the Spring Thunder would, you don't actually have to cut down the Mega Darts to get them in there, which is quite lovely. So I'm gonna do that. Sometimes they don't pop out if you flip it too violently, but that's okay. It's still awesome. The stock is a nice addition to have. It's very well thought out. You've got some 3D printed pins in there that hold elastic on there, and the shell just kind of fits in like that and it will obviously hold four of them so you can fit four shells plus two in the chambers on the blaster ready to go in one little compact space and that's a lot of different ammo types that you can have in one area i'm sure there's even an ultra shell out there if i look hard enough but unfortunately for this video i didn't find one and yeah it's a little sawn off double barreled shotgun that you can fit on a thigh holster or maybe on your back or something like that now obviously the ranges aren't there we've talked about this and i'm sure many of you are like well why would i ever use that the answer is because you'd use it for hvz not only does this fit that really nice cross-section of LARPing fun usability, because it does hit far enough to actually be useful in a war, but it also has that ammo interchangeability. And in HVZ, that's very important because there's always going to be some kind of opponent that you can't hit with a normal rival round or dart. And you never want to be that one squad that doesn't have anybody with a Mega or Demolisher rocket on them. And it's a beautiful piece of engineering. Even the shell holder can be flipped on either side or have both of them, like one on each side if you really want to, which may be a viable option, although it might be a little bit awkward to hold. And, the little sling mount right here is a metal threaded rod that goes through the entire thing, so it should never break on you, so slinging it is also a viable option. Honestly, it's something the community has wanted for a very long time, and I'm not going to give a definite price because this could change in the future, but the price I paid was very reasonable, a lot cheaper than you would expect. And while it doesn't prime when you open the barrel on something like a sludge fire or a barrel break, it's still incredibly compact and cool for what it does. The amount I paid was definitely more than any other Nerf product, and that's reflected by the fact that it's a handcrafted, beautiful piece of 
awesome foam blasting this, but it's not going to be for everybody. But this is going to be for the person who looked at like the worker wasteland ranger and said to themselves, wow, that looks like the scouts force of nature from team fortress too. If it had a stock on it and it's a double barreled shotgun sawn off thing, that is absolutely awesome. And I'd like to get that if it didn't suck so hard and cost way too much. And judging by the comments on that video, there's quite a few of you that thought that. And really to me, a blaster like this, while it may not be primary worthy by any stretch of the imagination, it definitely does have a purpose and it is incredibly fun to use. Obviously anything shell fed isn't gonna be super competitive, but for HVZ, you can sacrifice competitiveness for coolness and fun. Really my only real complaint about this blaster besides the absolutely cramped trigger area right here is the barrel may be slightly too short. You can flip it open with one hand and you can eject shells with one hand. With my unit, it's a little bit tighter, 3D printed tolerances and he was rushing to get one out to me. Yeah, it's not the most reliable way of doing it. So I usually open up with one hand and close it anyway. But if it was slightly longer, not only would that fit the aesthetic a little bit better in my opinion, maybe like another inch or two at least maybe but that extra weight would allow you to very easily flip it open and close it with one hand probably a lot more reliably but i may be wrong about that one because adrian wanted to cut it down even more so ladies, let me know down in the comment section what size you prefer. Do you want it to be a little bit longer than this, a little bit shorter, or is this just right? Foam blasting and 3D printing go together like chocolate and peanut butter. I absolutely love this hobby because we get stuff like this. When Hasbro has failed to give me an adequate double-barreled shotgun or even just like a Nerf Icon re-release of the barrel break with elite performance, like direct plundered stuff, this comes and saves the day for me. Yes, I could make a double-barreled sledgefire. In fact, I've had that sitting in my workbench for so long, I don't know if I'm ever going to finish it. It would be huge compared to something like this. And that's not really fitting of a scout now, is it? But what it lacks in power, it makes up for in charm and ammo capability. So if you really do want to play HVZ with a double-barreled shotgun when the world starts to open back up, hopefully check out adrian's foam on nature i bought this with my own money i am not paid for this review in any way other than the sponsorship at the beginning of the video which makes stuff like this possible thank you very much nordvpn check them out in the link below you should not be browsing the internet without a vpn and if you're on the fence about something like this i'd love to change your mind so make sure you leave me a comment down below and let's hope this video gets those views so i can send a couple of these out to some very very lucky walcom fans Oh yes, there's a new shirt. I'm wearing a new beautiful merch shirt that you could pick up right now at Teespring. No, seriously, there's not enough like cute anime waifu stuff in the nerfing hobby. I don't know why this is so hard and I'm going to change that. It's my sole mission from now on and Slater agreed with me when he drew up this beautiful thing. So hopefully it sells really well. I wanna do like a new design of this like every month to go with our other monthly theme of non waifu anime stuff. So check out the link to Teespring right on the screen right here in the top right corner down in the description or in the Teespring merch shelf below the video. That's the best way to support the channel and get yourself some cool stuff. But I'm Walcom S7. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one. You gotta up, up, up.